Hello, Professor Garner here, Brian Garner, here with uh, writing lesson number five, writing for your readers. I teach nonfiction. I teach uh, mostly judges, lawyers, paralegals, how to write well. And I've done that for, you know, over 30 years. Every once in a while, a lawyer will come up to me at break and say, aren't you supposed, I mean, forgive me, but aren't you supposed to write for your readers? Uh, to which my answer was, yes, uh, that's what this whole thing is about. That's what the whole thing is about. You know, in the reader-writer relationship, the, the reader is king. And it wasn't until somebody sort of persisted that I really understood what the person was driving at. But, but do, doesn't your style have to change radically from reader to reader, uh, depending on who your audience is? And the answer to that is no. Readers have a lot more in common than they have uh, differences. Uh, it's, you know, readers like skillful performances and they dislike unskillful performances. It's like a, a musical audience. Mu musical audiences like their music played well. They like a, something that's tuneful and in rhythm or a golf gallery. Golf, people watching golf want to see a round that is ridiculously under par. They want to, they want to see somebody who gets the ball into the hole in shockingly few strokes. However you do that. Um, readers want to understand your points in the easiest possible way. Uh, because they're a lot like you and me. They are lazy. They don't want to have to work any harder than necessary to get the ideas. In fact, this reminds me of Trimble's maxims. John Trimble, University of Texas English professor, co-founder with me of Law Pros, developed some maxims some years ago. Readers are impatient to get the goods. That's number one. Read, remember that. Readers are impatient to get the goods and they will resent having to work any harder than necessary to get them. Those are universal truths about readers. Of course, they begrudge having to exert themselves. So don't ever write a sentence or a paragraph that is not addressed to somebody whose purpose is not to connect with uh, the reader. And invent a reader if you must. If you're a judge or a lawyer and you need training in, in, in writing, legal writing, go to lawpros.org, www.lawprose, lawpros.org. We have the finest suite available for online instruction. Um, and if you're working in straightforward nonfiction, remember, as opposed to some experimental genre, remember what your readers are like. They're impatient to get the goods. They're going to resent having to work any harder than necessary to get them. Remember also, fall in love with language. It will always love you back. Good seeing you.